Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. I know this thing is messy, but this is where all of my candles are, and today I'm going to share with you my wax and candle collection. So my candle collection is in this bottom cabinet all the way to the right in my kitchen. It has a lot of stuff in there, and we're going to get to it. Okay y'all, in full disclosure, you may hear screaming in the background during this video, and that is my husband watching soccer. The World Cup is on. He gets very into it. He played soccer in high school. He loves the sport, so you may hear him. This was all in my candle stash in that one cabinet. So we're going to go through it. Y'all hang tight. Here it goes. All right, so let's get started. The first thing I want to start with are wax melts. I apologize if you see my cat behind me. It's what she does. I recently fell in love with wax melts. I've had some before from Scentsy that was gifted to me. Uh, but I've just been purchasing some from different companies on my own. And my favorite company so far is Swan Creek Candle Company. I always struggle saying that name. I don't know why. I love how big the cubes are that you melt. And the scent payoff is just amazing. Like it really does fill up my house with one warmer. Uh, I've mentioned this on a favorites video. If you didn't see my favorites video, I'll link it up here. But this is my favorite scent. This is Blueberry Lemon Zest. I won't say much about it since I did talk about that in my favorites video, but that is my favorite scent. I have some other scents as well from that company, and I love them all. This one is Bourbon Maple Sugar. I really love their attention to detail on these. This one is Saturday Morning Cereal and Milk. Again, attention to detail. I love that. It kind of looks like Fruity Pebbles. And then this one is amazing. It's called Fresh Strawberry, and I believe that's dried strawberry. It has to be. When it says fresh strawberry, it means fresh strawberry. Your whole house smells like a strawberry. It's wonderful. That's all the ones from Swan Creek. Another new company that new to me that I've tried out is called Zape. It's spelled Z-E-E-P, so it looks like Zeep, but it's pronounced Zape. And these came highly recommended from Terry over at Hey It's Terry. So I ordered several scents and I'm gonna share those with you now. This first one is called, and this one I think is my favorite so far from Zape. It's Miss Bell's Berry Sweet Tea. The notes are sweet berries, white tea, and jasmine blooms. It's wonderful. I really love their packaging. And then, I don't know if you can tell, it's white and kind of a pinkish purple. This one is called Sweet Tooth. It's pink cotton candy, blue cotton candy, and frosting. This is one I just started burning the other day in my warmer in my bathroom, and I really like the smell of it. It's called Beach Towels, and it's lemongrass, coconut, and fresh towels. It smells heavenly. This one smells great in the packaging, but it smells even better when it's warmed. Um, I've had others in the past that I like the smell of it in the packaging, but I'm not as crazy about it when it's warmed. They do smell different when they are cold versus when they're warmed. I'm not sure why that is, but I can tell a difference. This next one is called Juicy. It is honeydew, strawberries, and watermelon. I love the coloring of this one. And it smells really great as well. Last two that I have are the same scent. They are called California Girl. They are marshmallow, strawberries, coconut cream, and white cake. I like this one a lot, and I think it's one of her most popular ones. This is what it looks like. But I got two packages of this. If you're interested in giving Zape a try, I will leave a code down in the description box. It will get you 20% off of your first order. If you were to use that code, it just sends me another 20% off coupon, basically. That's the only kickback I really get from that. That's how I purchased my first order, so I thought I would share the love and give you 20% off as well. These next few I'm going to share with you are Scentsy. Well, there's one that I got from Walmart. This was really my first step into the wax world, I guess. I was gifted several Scentsy um, scents, and then I purchased one from Walmart. I think I purchased a couple from Walmart, and I've burned through those. I will tell you, I, while I do like the Walmart scents, they don't last long at all. <laughs> told you. The scents are, are pretty good, and they have a pretty good throw, but the scent goes away within just a few hours, so... Yeah, you only have to pay like 97 cents or something for them, but there's a reason. So the one I'm holding, I might as well tell you what it is. It's apple butter. I don't know if I've mentioned this yet. I don't think I have. 
Um, fall scents are my favorite scents. So you'll notice in my candle stash here in just a minute, most of them are fall scents. The scentsy ones that I have are, this one is Apple Crush, and I don't know if all of these are still available because I know that they retire some scents and they bring new ones out. This one was given to me, I believe, for Christmas this past year, and um, I really do like this one, and I should have, you know what, I can actually, I may mix that one with apple butter. I don't know, we'll see, but it does definitely smell like that fall apple scent. It's great. Another one that I'm almost out of is Honey Pear Cider. Gosh, that smells so good, y'all. Um, this is definitely a fall scent as well. Another scentsy one that I have is Frosted White Birch. It almost has a cologne smell to it. But it's really nice. I've used a couple of them. Again, it reminds me more of a fall scent, though. And then lastly with Scentsy, I have Thunderstorm. I really like the smell of it. It's a good summer scent because I think of summer when I think of thunderstorms. It smells really nice. Last wax melt that I have is one that I was gifted in my um, swag bag from Pinterest when I went to the Pinners Conference in Atlanta, Georgia. If you missed that, I have a vlog on it. I'll link it up here. But this is by the company Corked. I believe it's a mother-daughter company. I could be wrong on that. And they, they do all of their candles in old wine bottles and um, all of their scents are, I don't want to say alcoholic scents, but they are. <laughs> this one is Sangria, and it smells really nice. It's a very fruity smell. It's really great. I've used a couple of them out of there. I need to use some more, but it's called Corked. I'll show you their logo. Something I love to go on top of my candles, especially my Yankee candles, are these toppers that make them look like a lamp, almost. So I have this one. I love this one for the winter. Those blues are just beautiful and it's trees all around there. And I really love this one. This one's my favorite because it matches my favorite scent from Yankee Candle. And I'll go ahead and show that to you now. My favorite scent, all time favorite from Yankee Candle is Bahama Breeze. You can see I'm almost out of this one and it's my last one. They have this scent available in the melt now at Yankee Candle, so I need to go get it. My friend Robin, she's probably watching this video, she is the manager at the Yankee Candle in my town, and she's been fussing at me lately because I've been buying other other things other than Yankee Candle, but she did bring it to my attention that Bahama Breeze does come in a melt, so I need to go buy there. Sorry, Robin. Another recent favorite of mine that I've been burning a lot is Banana Split Milkshake from Bath & Body Works. It was in my Bath & Body Works haul. I'll leave that linked up here but I have been burning it and it smells heavenly, y'all. I want more of this one. A candle that I've been looking for for months, I finally found while I was at the beach this past week and it's called Magic Unicorn by DW Home. I don't know if you guys have heard of this one. Several YouTubers have talked about it and how wonderful it smells and they weren't lying. In this basket, I just keep all of my wallflowers. I don't know if you can see that in there. Um, there's wallflowers and then the refills. I'm not going to go over all of these because I feel like that would really make this video really, really long and we're already getting there. So I love wallflowers from Bath & Body Works. I change the scent up all the time, but my two favorites, I will tell you, are Caribbean Escape and I think it's Georgia Peach. I hope those are the actual names. We're just going to move on. If you've ever been to Michael's and they're having the sale on their candles, I think it's Ashland. Yes, Ashland brand candles. They will do them three for $10 or three for $9.99 a lot of times. You get what you pay for. Um, they smell really great in the store, but they don't give a lot of throw. But I was a sucker for a couple of winter scents, so I purchased them. This first one is called Ginger Cookie. I have not burned it yet, so I don't know about the throw on this one. It does smell really nice. The other one is called Silver Fur. It's a Christmas Noel scent. I did burn this one and it definitely has a smell of like a Christmas tree. You could smell it when I burned it but not very far away. You had to be kind of close to the candle in order to smell it. I have a couple of candle holders as well. They really fit the Bath and Body Works candles nicely. They fit right down into there. Um, but this one matches that candle topper that I had. 
And then I have a winter one that has the snowflakes all over it. The last topper or accessory type thing that I have that I'll show you is this topper. It is for um, the fall. It's got leaves all over it. This one fits Yankee Candles. They're tall jar ones really nicely. And last but not least, my Yankee Candle stash. This first one is called Warm Luxe Cashmere. I really liked this one. I burned it in our bedroom this past winter. Y'all just have to go smell this one. I'm sure it's not in stores right now. It smells so cozy. There is just, it's, it's a good description, Warm Luxe Cashmere. It smells cozy and rich and just, it's really great. You'll need to check it out. It's a perfect scent for late fall and winter. Another favorite of mine is Autumn in the Park. It's from Yankee Candle. You can tell it's a favorite. I burned most of it last year. It smells really nice. Like I mentioned, anything that's fall scented, I'm a sucker for it. It's my favorite time of year. Autumn in the Park definitely has an apple smell to it, but it has a rich, I don't know what else it is. They don't tell you the scents that make up each smell, which I kind of wish they did, but you can definitely smell apples. I'm not sure what else it is in there. Another one I got last year, and it was new for last year, it's called Honey Crisp Apple Cider. Y'all know the trick, right? I told y'all in my last video. You can smell it here, but you smell it more here. This one's really nice. I didn't burn it because I had so many others last year, so I'm looking forward to burning this this year. Another new scent they came out with last year was Sunset Fields, and it has like these sunflowers on the front. I did burn this one, and I love it. I think it was my favorite one last year. It's amazing. I don't, again, I don't know what the scents are in there, but Sunset Fields is great. The last candle that I have today is a Yankee candle, and it's called Apple Spice, and it has like a picture of an apple spice donut maybe on the front. That smells like an apple donut. It's really nice. Okay, that's it, y'all. I told you I would show you my candle stash. I know I said I was going to get rid of some things. But honestly, I think the only thing I might get rid of is this one. Um, it's that silver fur that doesn't give off the most throw. I may get rid of it, but other than that, I think I'm going to keep it all. I just need to reorganize it in my cabinet. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below and let me know what your favorite type of candle is, like from what brand and what your favorite scents are. I always love to hear about new things, so please let me know some that you just can't live without so that I can check them out too. Before you leave today, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank y'all for watching. I hope you have a good day.